Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, I suppose I'm going to present um, what I call DPD in a box. Um, and I suppose just to set the background on you know, what the project is, or I think it's important to you know, just set out an agenda here. Right? First, this is the story of, of the presentation. Um, who am I? And it's kind of relevant to explain who I am, because that kind of helps where the project came from. Then what, what, what is Deep Decay in a Box? What's it for? What's in it? Um, how do you run it? Um, what does it cost and what the next steps are? Um, so who am I? So this kind of sets the theme. Um, as well as being a Deep Decay developer, um, I'm also a maker. So I do lots of, lots of projects with Raspberry Pis, uh, microcontrollers, Intel Edison, you know, Intel Galileo, that kind of stuff. So I'm always tinkering with um, uh, microcontrollers. One of, the, one of my inventions there is the, uh, what I call the Pi phone, which is a Raspberry Pi based cell phone. Um, got around a million hits on YouTube, which is quite a lot of fun, and various different projects. A lot of photography related, related projects, and I'm still inventing. Um, so one of the things I did when I came into um, DPDK, um, I joined into it probably about a year ago, uh, was you know, kind of try and merge my maker hobby with the day job. It's what I kind of try to do to, for, 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 to seek innovations. Um, so I said to myself, we normally deal with these huge rack servers um, with DPDK. What is the smallest possible box you could get a reasonable performance um, with DPDK on? So I searched around and I came up with this um, small form factor Linux box which I came, you know, it's it all in the name, DPDK in a box. Um, so it consists basically of a single board computer, um, the Mino board turbo, um, and the, the T is silent, I believe. Um, and it's all to do with fishes. Um, Mino board is the name of the board, and the version of it is the turbo. Um, Intel Atom processor based, uh, dual core um, processor. With a silver jaw lure daughter board, which gives you a mini PCI slot plus M2 slot, um, so you can add in, you know, LTE um, cards or, or uh, SD, SD, um, SDDs. Um, so, and then you have an Intel Ethernet controller there as well, an i350 with dual core. Um, Grant. Uh, so, what's it for? The aim is really for training. Um, academic research and exhibitions, mainly training academic research. It's just to expand the knowledge, get more people involved in tinkering with DPDK, getting the mindset into DPDK early on in universities um, and students, and also training. Um, it offers a realistic um, hands-on experience, so you can physically hold a box. You know, it's a nice, this is it, by the way, so we have a new blue case. So it's a kind of a nice small case that you can hold in your hand, you can put on the desk in a student's in a training course, plug in a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse and away you go, and a network cable between the two ports and you can just pass traffic between the two ports. So you don't need any internet or ethernet infrastructure to run this, just an ethernet cable between these two ports and you're off. Um, so the idea would be that you'd give these to students, transmit packets between the ports, transmit packets between students. So you have students in a desk, you could create a circle of you know, um, DPDK in the boxes, and um, uh, just transfer packets around the room. Um, academic research, it's a low cost solution, um, so hopefully um, it would allow, you know, academia to use it, um, cheaper than maybe setting up cloud solutions, I'm not sure, but anyway, that's, that's something. Uh, easier to research uh, DPDK use cases. Um, and also for exhibitions, self-contained portable system, and you know what exhibitions, uh, Wi-Fi and internet connectivity can be a problematic, so you don't need it for this. You can just run DPDK on, on the box itself without any inter infrastructure. Um, as I said, Minoboard Turbo based, um, which is a low-cost single board computer running Ubuntu desktop or running any OS, but I happen to be running Ubuntu desktop here, um, can be used standalone. And there's the, compo cons the main constituent parts there in the picture. Um, the Minoboard on the right, then you have the, the silver jaw lure, uh, with the two uh, slots, and in the middle you have the i350 um, Intel uh, NIC with the two gigabit Ethernet ports. Um, as well, as part of the project, um, I do a bit of um, experimenting in the, the local Fab Lab, and we're lucky to have CNC, CNC routers and laser cutters and 3D printers. 
So I designed a case which is acrylic laser, laser cut, and um, we'll be making that available publicly, open source, so you can cut your own case if you have access to laser cutter. Um, of course, the DBTK option, DBTK logo is optional, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's easy to cut if you have access to laser cutter. Um, so in, in, as part of these, we have a few of these, which we're going to discuss later on or tomorrow about you know, distributing one or two to a few people um, uh, if they're academically minded. Um, so we'll see. But it's, there's uh, the box with power supply and um, getting started guides. You can see there in the, the image, there's a couple of um, you know, how to set it up, how to insert the SD card, connect the keyboard and mouse, how to power it on, and how to run your first program. It's quite simple. There's a script there just to run test PMD to transfer packets between the two ports. Um, one of, the, one of the, the benefits, one of the main benefits was this, uh, is that it's a known system. Like once you plug it in, you know it's going to work. You know, the, you know the resources, the trainer knows how much memory, it knows what the typical problems are, the number of huge pages to set up. Um, the, the trainer is, is you know, familiar with the issues that can go wrong in, in, in running uh, the system. Whereas if you uh, go into a classroom and you have to set up a lot of um, different laptops with different drivers, and you're using um, your PCAP driver and so on. There's various different things that can go wrong. Whereas this is a known system, you know, so it, it it's kind of um, keeps the scope um, limited as to what can go wrong. Um, and I think the students, I think there's an advantage in seeing a physically tactile, um, you know, box that people can feel and see and connect together and connect themselves and and uh, and run with it. Um, proximate costs of the box, um, mini board, $130, um, silver jaw lure, 50 80 for the Intel NIC, uh, around about $30 for what's left, the power supply, SD card, and so on, around about $300 per unit, you know, so, which is, I think, pretty reasonable for, for a, a training system uh, of that kind. Um, but then the, another interesting thing is that there's more, all the time there's new Mino boards coming out, and this one is due in Q3, um, which is a, it has two Intel NICs on board. Um, I have one here. It's a slightly different form factor, but what it gives you is, you know, a shallower box um, without the silver jaw lure, without the need for the, um, without the need for the Intel, the extra Intel NIC, because it's got two Intel NICs on board. Um, and I'm not sure, I don't know what the costs are yet, but I'm assuming that it's not gonna be the cost of the combined Mino board turbo plus silver jaw lure plus Intel NIC. I'm sure, I'm sure you're gonna save some money there. So you might even be able to do the system for, you know, under $200. I don't know, under 150 maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Um, Further information, of course, on the DBT website, you're all very familiar with that. Um, any questions? That's just the leave. Any questions? No? Okay, thanks a lot.